Now at five, crime concerns on UC Berkeley's campus. Hours after university officials spoke with parents to ease safety concerns, two people were attacked, one with a knife. Now parents and students are pressing the school about safety. Good evening, I'm Greg Lee. And I'm Christina Rendon. Let's get right to our crime reporter, Henry Lee. He is live on campus this hour. Uh, and Henry, these calls come after a number of assaults and a stabbing. Yeah, Christina, this has been an issue that's been going on for years, if not decades here at UC Berkeley. Students at a top tier university having to deal with strangers and interlopers disrupting their education. I can't walk by myself at night. UC Berkeley, a university known for its academic excellence, but some students like Olivia Friedenreich say they're concerned about safety. There have been people in my dorm last year um, that weren't supposed to be there. We believe it was a homeless person. They weren't dangerous, but they weren't supposed to be in the building. On Thursday, the university held a Zoom meeting for UC Berkeley parents worried about their kids' safety, including at its high-rise residence hall south of the campus. Just hours after that Zoom meeting, two startling incidents. About 9.30 Thursday night, a victim was attacked on Lower Sproul Plaza on campus and suffered facial injuries. A little more than two hours later, another aggravated assault at Bancroft and Ellsworth at the edge of campus. The victim was stabbed in the hand by a man who took off on a bike. Just a block away at Duran and Ellsworth earlier this month, police reported an anti-Asian hate crime where the attacker tried to hit the victim with several rocks. It's incidents like these that worry students and their parents. When I tell them, like, I have a meeting at night, they're like, make sure you take the bus. First-year um, student Maddie Qualls says she does try to reassure her parents. Sometimes it's um, a little concerning just with, in dark areas, you know, so I like to take the, like, night safety shuttle or the bus back. The university has its own police department, and campus officers often respond to incidents alongside city police officers. A lot of times, you know, we don't want to have the question of where the jurisdictional boundaries are until we actually get on scene. Officer Jessica Perry is with the city of Berkeley Police Department. Anything that's going to go over the radio, uh, UC Berkeley can actually listen to our channel if they want to, and vice versa. We can scan our local channels to figure out what's going on in the area. But even with two law enforcement agencies in town, some students are skeptical. I'm not sure if police is the response to a lot of these issues. Now, I went to Cal and covered city and campus crime, and I always kept my head on a swivel. Cops here warning students, be aware of your surroundings, know what's going on, don't be so engrossed in your cell phones and gadgets. Reporting live at UC Berkeley, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Henry, thank you.